Hi, this is Dinesh. Welcome to Option 8. Today, we're going to discuss about one simple F1 data analysis based on open interest. Okay, before getting to the video, if you are not subscribed to our channel, do subscribe and click the bell icon. Now, we'll get into the video. Okay, as I heard from a lot of traders, they are not doing any market analysis. They are simply taking the random trades and they are losing. What if happen in bullish market, if you are doing bearish strategy, you will lose, correct? In bearish market, if you are doing bullish strategy, then also you will lose. Then you may can ask one thing. What if I can take non-directional strategy? Yes, you can take a non-directional strategy, but it will work in monthly expiry only. Current week expiry, the non-directional strategy also will be in trouble. Because in weekly expiry, the zero can be go to 100 and then 100 can be go to zero. This much of volatility you may get. So the non-directional strategy also will be in trouble in current weekly expiry. Because nowadays most of the traders will do in the current week expiry. So you should know the market direction before taking any position or strategy. Now how to predict the market trend? So most of traders will do the analysis in F1 do based on price and open interest. Now we are going to analyze only in open interest, not in price. Okay, here you can see in the Excel three ways of analysis. One is future, max pain and PCR. So based on this, we gonna predict the market view and finalize the current trend. Okay, first we'll see how to analyze futures. Okay, this is the tabular I will follow in future open interest analysis. Okay, so basically I will do analysis in bank nifty. So here the indices is bank nifty and the price column is nothing but future price. Okay, how the future price is changing whether it is up or down. Okay, and the third column is OI, how the OI is changing in the futures whether it is up for 10 percentage or it is down for 10 percentage or it is not change okay and based on this we are predicting market view and the trend okay now we'll see one by one now we'll see the example if the bank nifty future closed in green okay which means up and you have to check the open interest whether the open interest is above 10 percentage or not if it is trend above 10 percentage then the market view is long the trend is very bullish and then if the bank nifty future if it is down then even open interest is up by 10 percentage or more than that then the market view is short which means very bearish the next is the future is up but the open interest is down then it is short covering then it is bullish not very bullish the next data the future price is down and the open interest also down by 10 percentage then it is long unwinding or you can say it's a profit booking okay then the trend is bearish okay not very bearish okay and these are the scenarios will happen most of the time uh, if the market is up which means green and the OI is not changed uh, it is between 0 to 10 percentage then it is range bound same thing the price is down and the OI is not changed then also it is range bound Okay, now you can ask one question where we can check the open interest for futures. Okay, we can take money control to check futures open interest. Okay, so as per Friday, the bank nifty futures closed in red. It is down for 150 point and you can see the open interest not at all changed. But before one week, we have to the next month open interest. Okay, so what we can do, we will consider next month open interest. For 25 May, next month open interest, it is down about 40 point, but the open interest changed more than 10 percentage. It shows 14 percentage of open interest, right? So what we, what we can predict? Our data is showing down and the open interest also up, which means it is short, then it is very bearish. Okay, so we can consider this as a very bearish market. Okay, so we are expecting the market to move bearish. So like that we are predicting for in future. Okay, we will note it down in the overview. Here you can set it's a bearish. 
okay now second what you have to analyze max pain what is max pain max pain is nothing but where the most of contract becomes worthless which means buyers will lose and sellers will earn what it exactly meant is the particular strike price will go worthless on on the day of expiry okay so remember one thing the max pain will not change frequently it will move very gradually and very slowly okay so how we can analyze this one okay so we have to analyze yesterday max pain and today max pain and if there is any change at least 200 points then we can predict the trend okay how we can predict it if the max pain change is positive 200 points then we are considering as a bullish if it is negative then bearish if it is no change then we are considering as a range bound okay now where we can check the max pain okay the max pain you can check in sensible or nifty traders maybe some of portals may be available but i know the sensible and the nifty traders they are providing max pain details okay we'll now we'll check in sensible okay here the sensible portal i am selecting bank nifty here and you have to click info here you can see the max pain the max pain is 42000 okay you no need to consider the indication just you have to take the value here so here it is 42000 okay we can note it here 42000 so i noted thursday max pain which is 42200 okay so on friday 42000 the yesterday data is 42200 so the change is 200 points negative correct so the change in minus 200 which means bearish so the market is bearish here so we can note it down in the overview as well okay now we'll see pcr okay here pcr pcr is put and call ratio it's nothing but put open interest divided call open interest here you can see the tabular if the put open interest is high then the market is bullish the pcr is greater than one percentage then also the market is bullish okay and the call open interest is high then the market is bearish if the pcr is less than one then the market is bearish okay if the put and call open interest are same then the market is range bound which means it is equal to one but if you noticed most of the time the pcr value would be more than one percent because there will be a more open interest in put side compared to call open interest so it's indicating the most of the traders are interested to take position in put side but not only in indian market in all the market it was like that only so now where we can check the pcr value same we can go to sensible you can click on the info here and see the pcr value the pcr value is 0.74 so i will note this 0.74 the friday data is 0.74 on thursday it was 0.91 now we have to calculate this today minus yesterday's value so minus 0.17 okay so minus 0.17 the changes in pcr at least 0.2 so either it should be more than 0.2 either on positive or negative side okay if it is not more than 0.2 then we are considering as a no change that is range bound okay if it is positive 0.2 then it is bullish if it is negative 0.2 then it is bearish in our case we are in range bound okay so we can note it here range bound okay now we have analyzed the market based on future open interest max pain and pcr value okay so here you can see the weightage how i will give the weightage for this for future it is 50 percentage weightage for max pain 
it is 30 percentage weightage in PCR it is 20 percentage weightage okay so based on this only I will choose it so uh, so 80 percentage of data was showing as a bearish so I will consider the market as bearish okay you can ask one more thing what if the uh, future is showing bearish and the max pain and PCR is bullish so most of the time it won't happen max pain and the PCR also will be based on the open interest data so whatever the future is showing most of the time this will show us a relevant data even if it is not shown the relevant data I will pick the future market view only for the current trend because that this is 50 percentage of weightage okay so hope you got how I do the F1 to analysis to predict current trend okay so based on this you can take a strategy okay thank you for watching keep supporting us